Hi, everybody. The question you keep asking me is whether I offer employers and vacancies. And the answer to that is no. I offer visa services, but you have to bring your own employers, like bring your own lunch, B-Y-L. Uh, B-Y-E, bring your own employer. Uh, so there are three reasons for that. First reason, everyone does their job and I would prefer to do mine, to do the visa process and not the recruitment process. Second reason, very low likelihood of success. There are thousands and thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people or hundreds of thousands even looking for an employer, but there is a relatively small number of employers willing to sponsor. So you would always have many, many times more applicants than employers, which means that statistically, there will be a very low likelihood of success of matching an employer and applicant. And I wouldn't want to be do, doing things with a low likelihood of success. Um, so it's better f for you to look for one. And the third thing is that likelihood of success can only increase if you do the job personally. That's why neither me nor recruitment consultants or anyone else can improve your chances of success. Finding employees is all about building rapport. It's all about... You know, maybe her friends and acquaintances in Australia that know some businesses that can present you in the most favorable light and pass on your CV. Maybe you keep contacting employers yourself. Maybe you've made up a list of companies in your sector and keep approaching them and sending out your resume, contacting them by phone, etc. In any case, it is better for you to represent you yourself then their likelihood of success will increase because <clears throat> whenever an agent represents you, employer is not really interested in that. Much more often, the employer comes to an agent like me and says, <clears throat> this is the list of people I want to sponsor or comes and says, I want to sponsor this person. Are they eligible? Look at their qualifications. Look at their CV. This is how it happens, not vice versa. I don't come to the employer with a list of people saying, hey, I want to sponsor these 10 guys. Can you do that for me? It doesn't happen this way. You approach the employer yourself. It's the only thing in which you can make it work. Of course, I <clears throat> sometimes in very hardcore trades occupations like welders, for example, um, employers do approach me and then I might be able to give the list of people for them. But it's a rare, rare occasion. Normally, employers know who they want to sponsor and they come with a list of the people who they want to sponsor. And of course, in other occupations, it doesn't normally ha occur this way. You know, it's it's, um, it's pretty hard to imagine a, an aged care provider coming um, and telling, hey, can you recruit 10 people for me? Um, that would <clears throat> unlikely happen because that those 10 people would already, already be working for that aged care provider. So they would know who they want to sponsor. So make your way through the employer, contacting the employer, convincing them to sponsor you is your job, not mine. And I wish you all the best with that.